Hey, what's going on heroes? Pochi Force here. So we're moving on to Outlast Episode 3, but before we jumped right back into the game, I thought I would preface with just a little bit of a story. So I've gone back and I've watched over Episodes 1 and 2, and I've realized that I kind of have like a bit of a, a fish face, if you will, where I get focused on the game and then my eyes get wide, my mouth hangs open, I get slack-jawed, and I'm like, oh, and basically, my face isn't very expressive, at least not when I'm concentrating on the game and trying not to die. So even though the game scares me, you're not really getting much of a reaction from me. So yeah. The goal here is to not only, you know, show you a good, fun, scary game, but so that way you can basically make fun of me screaming at like a, like a little girl. So, my face doesn't really... Yeah, this face is not very good at looking scared when I'm scared. So, I'm gonna try to be more expressive, but trying to be consciously more expressive kinda is counterintuitive. So we're just going to see how it goes, but uh, one other thing just to kind of preface with what we've done so far, we dropped into this asylum called Mount Massive Asylum, and we were, we were sent a note about some wrongdoings going on here, we're some kind of investigative journalist, and we got here, and then shit went, hit the fan, and there's dead bodies everywhere, and we're trying to find a way out, and then we got drugged by this priest, and we woke up in a cell. And so that's where we're continuing now. So, I think that's enough talking. Let's get right into it. So three, two, one. All right, let's get into the game. My microphone's still syncing. Oh, I get to go through this part again. All right then. So we wake up in Father Martin, I believe the note said, Father Martin's cell. And by the way, just again, I'm in the dark. I've got headphones on with the sound turned way up. So I'm trying to do my best to scare myself as I can. Because this is supposed to be a really scary game, but I've seen a Let's Play of this before. So I've kind of got at least a little idea about where some of the jump scares are. So I'm doing everything I can. Rest in peace. Do I have to... Okay, so, Father Martin Cell, I already have that note. Now, I have to remind myself of the controls, because it's been a couple days since I played. Up and down, left is notes, right is documents. Right and left trigger are lean. That's my camera. Right stick for night vision mode. Zoom in and out while scoped. B is to crouch. A is to jump. I think left stick is to run. No, left bumper is to run. Okay. So I'll come up to the door. This guy slams himself against the door. And then the door opens. And I heard him making... Listen for it. You see, what I think is happening there... Okay, maybe I'm wrong. But what I thought was happening was that the guy was just kind of banging his head against the wall. But maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Hey, friend. Okay, there doesn't appear to be anyone else. Oh. Hey. Can I... I got a feeling this is a bad idea. But let's... I feel sorry for him, but it sounds like he's getting off to something. Is he rubbing himself? Oh my god, he's rubbing himself, and he was talking about cats. Can I close this door? He needs to be in here. Yes. You stay. You have a nice day. And I keep hearing weird noises, and it's freaking me out. Maybe Father Martin's man. Oh, Maybe. it's the Naked Maybe. Twins. Maybe. Okay. I'd like to kill him. As would I. The preacher asked us not to. It would be impolite. Not here. We give him a running start. There's an idea. And when we kill him, we kill him slow. Such patience. I want his tongue. 
What's it say behind them? They are yours. God always provides a way. Follow the blood. Follow the blood. Um, I'm gonna swing wide. Are you talking to me? Whoa. Okay. Okay. No, it's cool. Did that door just glitch open for a second? Can I go in here? No, I can't. That's fine. And this guy's... What? What's with your leg, bro? Don't trust them. They'll tell you it's science, but it's not. They were waiting for us in this place. Billy understood. They've always been here. This guy is probably the most sane sounding one here, and the poor fella looks like he's had better days. And this guy... Keep no more space alone. Leave me alone. Alright, it said follow the blood. Okay, I think I see what I need to do. Down here is not where I need to be. There's an open door over here. I got it, I'm keeping, I'm giving you your distance, bro. Don't need to shove me. I'm looking for batteries at this point. So it said follow the blood. So I think if I go around this way, that also looks like it puts me over here where the naked twins are, and I don't want to go there. They want to kill me. Okay, so I'm still not sure. Can I jump up to that? Space. Oh, leave me alone. No. I'm kind of lost. I don't know where to go. Keep the camera up. Record everything. Okay, that's where I go. Okay! God damn it! What the fuck is the matter with you? You weren't invited to this goddamn sicko! I can't go that way. It's sick. You're sick. I'm sick. You're sick. Okay. Hey, you. Oh, I. Where are you going? Okay, so that gets me up here. It said, follow the blood. There's footprints going over this way. Can I open this gate? No, I can't open this gate. Okay. Just the microphone for a moment. There we go. I guess this is just gonna be a running gag. My microphone doesn't want to stay in one spot. Can I open this door from this side? No. Okay. That's where the tunes were. They're in my blood if they want to get out. I didn't wait until I finished, oh, but I saved some for you. Mm. Decontamer. I have to follow the blood trail to get out. Okay. Anything under here? No. Okay. Try to conserve my batteries. Can I go this way? Down the drain? Down the drain. The blood's going up right now, but I hear a guy going. It's this guy here. Only way out is down the drain. Is that a drain? Okay. They weren't experiments. They were rituals. A conjuring. 
All right. I'm looking for batteries. Something about this is vaguely familiar. And I'm hoping that I'm not going to find myself having to run here. But I feel like I'm going to. And I'm afraid that guy is going to try to tattle on me. Closing doors behind me will slow pursuers, huh? Try to open that door. That guy's right there. That guy's right there. Okay, that was my footprints. I got scared by my own footprints. Or my own footsteps. this guy if you will polite me okay battery yes thank you nothing else in here um bye fella He likes it to stay quiet. Okay. So as soon as I open this door, I need to turn and run. You're one of those Murkoff sons of bitches, aren't you? I want to show you something. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do! I am so dead now. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, trying to adjust my lighting here so I can be better seen. I guess that will have to do. But, ugh. Alright, let's see if I can't get this right. Okay, so he just violently murdered that guard. But that's okay, he's not gonna bother me. Come over here, I get this. Bye, fella. That's what they mean. I gotta close the door behind me like that. I lost him. He's walking around. I gotta get by this guy. And I gotta activate the doors. So once he goes around the corner up there... Follow the blood. Now, because I expect him to come back.
Okay. <laughs> He's like hide and seek. He wants to play. I like games. Alright, so. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Okay. Okay, so I can hide here until he goes past back to the other way because he knocked this door down which is very helpful for me I'm listening for him <laughs> sounds like he's breaking down another door Okay, so maybe I need him to go back into the room where I first came out, or well, the room he was first in. This is really creepy. I'm scared to get out. I seem to be back in that previous room. <clears throat> okay, that is a bolted door. Workoff Core PG Maintenance Memo. Proper purge gate maintenance is crucial to project, project wall rider security. Please refer to Murkoff Corp Maintenance Manual MMPSMM180286 or seek guidance from a supervisor with a proper security clearance. I have no idea if that's important or not. Doesn't seem important to me. So I gotta get this cleared. I got a bad feeling about this. This door needs a key card. down there. Hey, buddy. I 
I've got two notes. I missed one. Necromantic. F this place. Seriously, just F this place. Dying keeps moving lower on the list of the worst things that could happen to me here. Yeah, I agree. Total security. I can't shake Chris Walker, the big ugly effer who likes ripping off people's heads. I hear him muttering about security protocols, containment. What if he's not the problem? What if he's trying to fix it? That, that music is not helpful. I want to get out of here. Okay, I got a key card. I think I use it over here. Where do I use the key card? Oh, no, I remember where I used the key card. I'm dumb. The shower is over here, which just seems like a really, really bad idea. Exit through the showers. Oh, oh shoot. My God, he vanished. Vanished without a trace. Oh, the other. Let's run. I need more batteries. I really, really need more batteries. See, that didn't really fool them, but these guys are weird. No, no, stop it. There we go. Okay. Okay, we got another file. Please find attached a copy of the death certificate for Rudolf Wernicke. So that guy's dead. Murkoff Psychiatric System Subcontractor. No surviving family. State of Colorado. Hold to light to be watermark. Hereby certified that attended deceased for June 4th, 2003 to February 28th, 2009. Saw him alive on February 27th, 2009. That death occurred on the date stated above at 4.11 a.m. Male, white, he was single, born 1918, this dude was old, born in Germany. Dude lived to be, let's do some quick math. Subtract nine from that. So he lived to be 91 years old. This was an old dude. Principal cause of death and related cause of importance were as follows. Heart failure due to advanced age. I somehow doubt that. Because this whole place has been nothing but lies. Okay, I'm not sure if there's anything else in this room. Okay. The electric chair has a toilet. I don't know anything about electric chairs. Maybe they come that way. Okay, that's the door I came through. I got a feeling I'm gonna have to run from here real soon. That guy's missing a head. Inactive. Okay, can I open this door? Time to get out of here. Oh no. 
You didn't even see that. You didn't even see me freak out. Oh my god, I thought that guy was gonna catch me for sure. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. Oh, get, keep moving, keep moving. Oh! What'd I land on? What did I land on? Okay, this lighting setup worked before. It's not working now. It's not working now. Ooh, dead bodies. Dead bodies. Okay, find an alternate path to the showers. Okay, um... I think this is a good place to stop. I think this is a good place to stop. So that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, it was pretty intense. So, that's it for now. Until next time, heroes, I'm Poji Force, and you guys stay awesome. Take care.